I realize my previous video was a bit long. So for people who already understand why they have to do the Gantt chart, I'm just going to jump straight into how I do a Gantt chart again. So if you watched the previous video and it makes sense and you know what to do, you don't need to watch this. But if you just want to have a quick run through of how to do a Gantt chart, let's go. So I'm going to open Excel or whatever spreadsheet program you're using. I'm going to go to blank workbook. Let me put this on the left. And the first thing I'm going to have are my activities along the left and my timings along the right. So I'm going to go, let me zoom in. I'm going to go down to where it says A2, activity one. I'm going to put my mouse at the very edge of bottom right. Click and hold, drag it down until it goes to activity six there. At the very top, I'm going to do 0 0.5. Yeah, I think so. Then one, then 1.5, two, 2.5, three, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 5, uh, 5 .5, 6, 6.5, 6 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5, 10, 10.5, 11, 11.5, and 12. I'm going to zoom out now so you guys can see all my numbers. Let me expand this. So this is not nothing different from the previous video. I'm going to simply now click on where it says B, so the heading of the cell, not the cell itself, so not the cell, the heading. Click on B. It highlights everything. I'm going to click and hold and drag all the way across until it highlights all the numbers I want. Then, then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click in between any one of the spaces. So wait until that downward arrow turns to um, a black cross. Double click there. And as you can see, it automatically resizes everything to match what it was supposed to match. Now, from there, I don't like um, there being four and then 4.5. I like there being a decimal place for each one. So I'm going to click here where it says general. So go back to home, go to where it says general and under general, click increase decimal place. It's going to increase it by one. That's fine. I have too many zeros. I'm going to click decrease by one now. So it gets rid of one of them. That's it. Double click again into that space in between the cells and it shrinks it down to what I want. That's the first part finished. So this is what you ideally are. Oh, I left out number 12. Should be 12.0. Right. I'm going to increase the decimal place for that one. I have 12.0 there. Not necessary at all. Just something I like. I'm going to go back to my thing, my exam paper. Activity one is 1.5. So I'm going to highlight three cells. Make it. Let's choose a different color this time. Let's choose orange. Activity two says 1.5. 1.5 so that's another three activity three says 2.5 i know that's going to be five of them one two three four five and then color it in fill color activity four is going to be 2.5 as well so that's one two three four five activity five is going to be 1.5 so that's going to be three and activity six is going to be everything that's left over, which should be five. So this is my Gantt chart completely finished for the initial plan. Now to do the screenshot, I press start, type SNIP for snipping tool, open the snipping tool. Once this comes up, you're going to click on where it says new, simply click and hold and then drag over the area you want to copy. Once you've let go, it's automatically copied. So now you just need to go back to your document. Do I have my document open? I do not. Let me just quickly open that document. I think this is the one I was using before. I'm going to scroll down to my activity one. And here where it says initial task plan, this is where I'm going to paste what I've just copied. Right click and go to paste. Or if you know the shortcuts, you can do control. So CTRL and V for Victor. And that's going to paste. Right. So. That's my first initial Gantt chart there done. Hopefully that was useful and thanks for watching.